how to establish a connection between the WWS-800 WASP Bluetooth to a Pocket PC Bluetooth. First I'll set up a connection to my Pocket PC and I'll bring in a video on the screen here so you can see what's going on. First thing we made a connection. What we want to do on the partnership is to set up a guest partnership and click next. Okay we've connected and we have a partnership and like I say I've, I've got a video showing here of what's happening on the pocket PC. Next thing we'd like to do is turn on Bluetooth on the pocket PC. So click right here on this icon that stands for Bluetooth. So click here and uh, Bluetooth on my pocket PC at this moment is on. I'll turn it off and uh, turn Bluetooth on. Just make sure the Bluetooth is on and you can tell by looking at the top of the pocket PC and if you see a blue light then the Bluetooth is active. This is very good. Now go over to the wireless WASP barcode reader and squeeze the trigger. You don't have to aim it at anything, just don't aim it at your eyes since that is a laser beam. Uh, just squeeze the trigger to activate it. And then on the provided piece of paper, which you'll see right here, I want you to click on number one. Don't get ahead of me now because we don't do all of these. We only do number one, two, three, and five. So if you have to go faster than me, make sure you click on 1, 2, 3, and 5. Do not click on number 4 or you'll have some trouble. Okay, enter setup. I'll click on number 1. You'll hear the barcode. Okay, that is, it indicates it's a entered setup through um, scanning this barcode. Now we'll go down to number 2 and activate the Bluetooth serial port interface. Okay. Next we'll go down to number three and device name broadcasting scan that. You do that by pressing the trigger. Aim and pull the trigger. Finally we'll go right to number five. Skip number four. Do not do number four and update. That puts everything into the memory and the long beep indicates that the handheld wireless is now broadcasting a Bluetooth signal. We don't need this reference anymore. Back to the pocket PC we go. Next thing we need to do is install some software onto the pocket PC. So I've got a CD-ROM. It's the WWS 800 CD-ROM. Put that into your drive and wait a second while it comes up. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. See it only takes a couple of seconds. Okay, once it's loaded up, open the folder to view the files using Windows Explorer. It's highlighted. If not, make sure that's highlighted and click on OK. And here is what's on that CD-ROM. We only need this one right here, Pocket PC Install. I do not want, I do not want the PC Serial Wedge Install because that is for your laptop or desktop and we're not using that. So, Pocket PC install, open this folder, two quick clicks, and you only have one choice. Click on it and start it up. And wait a second, here we go, click on next. You don't have to read this, click yes, and yes. Okay, it says check your Pocket PC, that's what they call a mobile device to see if there's any necessary steps on your pocket PC. So let's go look at the pocket PC. I'll close this out. And here on the pocket PC window you can see it says the program you have installed may not display properly and on and on. Click OK and you'll come up with uh, you know your main screen again. So we have installed some software on the pocket PC that we need just a little bit later on. Now you heard in the background the beep that uh, came off of the handheld scanner. After a few seconds of not using it, it will turn itself off. So when we go looking for a Bluetooth device now, we got to be sure to pull the trigger on the 
scanner to wake it up. Go back here to the Bluetooth and let's go to the manager. <clears throat> so select Bluetooth manager. All right. And what we want to do is create a new connection. So let's go under new. And we should scroll down now to the very bottom and select this. Just click anywhere in here. Explore a Bluetooth device. We're going to go out there and look around and see what's available. Now if your handheld scanner goes bad, if that handheld scanner goes bad, you're going to have to redo the, the uh, scanner. I mean if it turns off. Okay, the AF6 and on and on showed up. That means that's the wireless, so let's select that. Now my, my wireless just uh, turned off, so I'll turn it back on by squeezing the trigger. Pick the AF, and it's going to be retrieving some services and looking for it. So one of the things that shows up is a serial port. Okay, the next thing you want to do is highlight serial port and go down here and click on next. We're almost done. Finish. So we have a serial port available. Now what we have to do is make it active. So select it by pressing with your stylus and holding it for about a second here until connect shows up and select connect. And if all goes well, it'll turn green and go beep, which it did. So I've got a connection now between my pocket PC and the Bluetooth barcode scanner. Yahoo! But we can't communicate yet. We have one more step to do. Remember that software that we loaded into the pocket PC? We need to use it now. We can close this out. Just say OK. It's active and running in the background. Click, click on Start. So we just start and then select programs. You want to just uh, use your stylus and press programs. And we're looking for a program in here called Wasp Wedge. Well, it was the last thing added, so naturally it'll be at the bottom. So we want to go over here and scroll down. Just press and hold it and pull that down. And here's a Wasp Wedge. Click on it. Now, this is real important you need to connect with port number seven. I can explain that to you personally of why we picked port seven, but it's too long of a discussion for this presentation. Just believe me, you need to go and select port seven. So click on this down arrow with your stylus and scroll down till you see COM7 show up and then highlight it and connect. The port status says it's open, meaning it's ready to read the information that the barcode scanner gets and it'll send it wirelessly through Bluetooth into the pocket PC. Well, if we're going to look at it on the pocket PC, we need something to look at, so let's put it into Excel spreadsheet. Now, don't click OK here. If you click OK, that means you do not want to communicate so just leave that alone and just come over WASP with your stylus and press it and go back to programs and look around here for pocket Excel it's got an X look around for pocket Excel where is it where is it I'm just kidding okay pick on it one time press on it it'll open up Excel this is a spreadsheet and uh, pick up your barcode scanner and find yourself a barcode and scan it. And if it works, it's going to read it in. Okay, well, let's try another one. This is very good. Okay, think about what you've just done. You loaded software into a pocket PC that allows communication between the barcode scanner, which is using Bluetooth, and you're feeding it into the pocket PC which is using Bluetooth so you're doing Bluetooth communication and you also set up Bluetooth using the manager I suggest you try this a couple of times to 
kind of cemented into your brain of how this works. Otherwise, thanks for viewing this.